I have the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Aver. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly. Jotunheimer. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here. My respect to the mistresses of the feast. Be welcome, this year. Our father's hall is a heaven to all. I remember there was a cauldron here once. Brought by Thor from Hemius Hall. A cauldron a mile deep, a mile of mead. I miss that cauldron. Father bet the cauldron on a foolish wager with Sutunger and lost. But we still have the ale from our brewery. Where is Agir now? He's gone to Utgather. He sent a cauldron to Sutgunger, but it never got there, so he's gone to find out what's what. Oh, but enough of that. You are a visitor to our great land, and we know its secrets. Ask of us your questions. I want to know the unknown. Where should I look? There is a broken tower near Utgather that was once a place of great magic. Perhaps there is still some to be found there. To magic! May we never be without it. Skull! Let us tell you more of our homeland. What animals will I find in the wild? I have heard tell of a great bear of stone and ice that lives by a frozen lake. Enough talk! Time for a drink! Skull! 
Let us tell you more of our homeland. <sighs> Spin me a tale of tragedy. Once, Thor dashed the great serpent Jormungandr against our shores. Many ships wrecked. Many Jotnar drowned. Seek a lonely tree of the shore and walk beneath it. You'll see. Now let us drink to the fallen. Skull! You don't look well. Is our ale taking a toll on you? Shed in my mouth. Where am I? I should. I should find out what I did while I ale addled. My mind is blank. Arrived with wine and vomit. Oh, these are thralls' clothes. Where did they come from? to have quite a head for heights. I think I remember being up high. How did we get the card up there? in the brewery still tell tales of last night's voyage. <laughs> Were we trying to sail somewhere? Across the Ale Sea to the land of... of... Uh, I can't recall it. These woods whisper with Jotnar magic. Not everything is as it seems.
Snorrington, the boar. Once a prisoner, now free. I think we even made up a song about it. Uh, we made wild revels, it seems. But no harm done. Except to my head. Agia's daughters are hospitable indeed. Do you see? Hunger Buddha's home was right here when I last visited. It may still be. Any obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way.
They are mindless ravagers who will destroy us and inherit the Nine Realms. I cannot allow that. They are capable of more than you know, and I will not help you bring about their ruin. Then you are a fool. Enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angrebola, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The Mead? You seek the Mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. You were discussing the humans in Midgard. Were we? Why would Jotnar concern ourselves with such lower beings? Because you think them hardy and ambitious. You know much, Farseer. But not enough to save you. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. The waterfall should be nearby, but I see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. well, but no secret is safe from me.
those cursed roots. my stomach. I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There, an elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now... You have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. She let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! 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 Wait! 
You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgarder. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Sutungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Utgarder. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now, I head for Thrymmer's hall. Need your eyes, my friend. Steel and flesh met here. But Yodna leave no corpses. They turn to earth when they die, back to the tilth they came from. Something huge was dragged this way. This card bears the sign of Agid. The ditch was dark so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Destruction leads towards that giant root. Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. So 
soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. I should be cautious around here. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave? That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion. Things are not always as they seem in your Tanaima. The cauldron has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Utgarta now, but a gift for Gunloda would improve my chances at getting the mead.
the key to this lock. Who has caged this Jotun? An Asir? It is a dire day when even enemies must be friends. But I must beg for your help. A hunter lives in a house nearby. He has become crazed, and now he preys on his fellow Jotnar. He has captured and beat my love, and soon he means to skin him like a rabbit. Will you have mercy and aid us? Where is this hunter? Inside the house asleep. Quickly. You must kill him before he wakes. He will have the key to this cage. Skami, speak to me! What has that bastard done to you? A door in a wall. Is this the house you meant? Well, that wasn't that before. this lock. A woman's hairbrush. Perhaps this hunter does not live alone. You'll be my newest trophy. Scum of Asgard, trying to cut my throat in the night? You'll be my newest trophy. The key to the cage outside. Please, Scum of Asgard, trying to cut... Take what you want. Just spare me. I am no thief. I'm here to free the Jotun you have imprisoned. That villain? He's lucky I only caged him. How would you react if you found another man porking your wife? Your wife? Aye. I've been waiting for her return so I can thrash her. She won't be able to walk once I'm done. Your wife has deceived me. I'll leave you in peace. Good. And leave that wretch in his cage. I'll deal with him later. God help her when I catch her. I'll skin them both alive. Scummy! Speak to me! 
I have the key, Jotun. But I'm not your assassin. Be satisfied with that. Oh, stone and soil! Now he will hunt us wherever we go. You have saved us and doomed us all at once. Hurry now! Release him! You're free to go. My love. I knew you'd come for me. And your husband? Is he dead? He still lives. We must make haste, away to our secret tower. Maybe he will not find us there. As soon as I regain my strength, we will go. I fear I am too weak to move. Oh, you must try. He will not be long. I know it. The High One. Ratatusk the Tree Rat, what message do you carry today? I've received a new message just this morning. It says... Ratatusk is this girl who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. And the High One is he who will be crushed underneath my flighting skill. What say you, High One? I will take you on, Squirrel. Say when. Good. Let's begin. I'm a messenger born, and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I should like to see you try. True, Tooth, I am named for the way I bite at the bark of this world tree. But they ought call me knife tongue for words so sharp. They're too dull to conquer me. Not bad, fun old man. I deal mostly in gossip, but here say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You're a fat-headed fool and a puny god. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. Ratatusk is the squirrel who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. Though he fought with some fury and did his best, it was Harry got the kill. <sighs> you did better than I thought. Now leave this place before I bite. Survey the area. The house once stood here, before ruin came upon it. The Rimmer's house once stood here. Time you die! Ok, 
Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymius stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. Bridal circlet. This would be a gift worthy of Gunlother's attention. about this land, my friend. You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi. The High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunger want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluther. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned. She shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. 
You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. You see. Here's the stone circle. No way into the sanctum. Another illusion. The way inside is revealed. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Um, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. But to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is Quite beautiful. No sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it.
the vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits. Here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor, for I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Your words are well chosen. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tutunka will open his vault. The feast is for me, the me! Not empty chatter! The same musicians. Where 
requires the music. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. I should head to the kitchen. Come, give it a try! What's the worst that can happen? Last time I played your game, I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's the second worst? Come, give it a try! Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Come, Is there any up. sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Last time I played your game. I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink. And let fly! Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bow. Fine shot. Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Close your eyes, your luck will improve. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The mead is half gone. The Nagir's cauldron can be drained. She has not touched a drop of mead. Maybe I can raise her spirits. You're not drinking, Gunlutha. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold.
A river has a mouth, and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. One more time. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Javi. Yes. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. And one, no one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> but they won't do it. How many broken bones is there? <laughs> Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. There. 
Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umia's hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. I wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? It makes no sense. The Nornir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know.
This strange magic might the ACA laid our doom. Yurikin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. You should have the sense to stay far away from me after what you did. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Sutungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death. such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. You will gamble with uncountable lives. Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vaniad. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hidekin 
set to find her at Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. And here are the Stormbringers. Explain this mischief. This tempest is our vengeance. Cold winds for a cold heart. Three times we asked for Kun Lord's hand. Three times we demanded she truce between us. Three times my brother's hideous face drove her away. It's your face, shitwit. We're twins. You can't hit the storm because your feelings were hurt. This storm is the storm that rages within us. The noble pain of those wronged in love. The lady said no. Move on. I don't like your tone, Aesir. You think you're better than us, just like she did. Maybe it's time to shut your mouth. Why don't you come and try? The foes will be swallowed by ice! Whoa. Good God, the ability to the snow cover, boy! Skies have cleared. The blizzard is over at last. you calling for a fighting partner two fight with two that is the rule but have no fear you'll have little to do but watch as Dugar the bowl destroys his foes you seem to be having trouble finding someone to join you proud fools they are afraid I will show them up with my fighting prowess you're not afraid are you I had expected fearsome opposition in the Jotna fighting pits. Fearsome, yes. Too fierce for you. But you can stand behind me. I'll deal with them single-handed. I like your confidence, at least. I'll take this challenge. And you won't regret it. For Dukur the Bold is not only a great warrior, but a shapeshifter of peerless skill. Pick an animal. Any animal. I will take on that form in the combat to come. Of all the beasts of this land, the bear is the most fearsome. Brute strength and savagery. Very well. Now let's fight. Did you hear? A rabbit? What good is a rabbit? Whose name was that? A rabbit. Did you hope to nipple your opponents to death? Ah, uh, well, 
by making myself seem feeble, I made them lower their guard. All in a day's work for Dugger the Bow. Are you even able to transform into a real beast? Of course I can. Anything I want. Um, I just don't want to right now. I'd better get some reward for carrying you in that fight. I'll stick your bobtailed arse in a stew. I found a note on a dead traveler. It will lead you to treasures and secrets. At least, I hope it will.
I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutungar, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear I will kill you. Here and now. You are out of favors, Trixer. And you are welcome to try. Your corpse to fend it. Curse you, Loki. We were like brothers once. I wait for Ragnarok when you can die now. Water this time, Loki! You have gone too far! <laughs> when my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! <laughs> Let's see if you fight as well as you lie! Never forgive that. Curse you, Loki. We were like brothers once. Are you finished? Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! <laughs> What mischief. But I will not see him again soon. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. 
For once you drink, your hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asif. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it. For there is one I love dearly, who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunnlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard, to save my people. Huh?
Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a meat of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this meat, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. <laughs>